Greetings and salutations. Welcome to episode 8. It definitely is 8. I checked. I double checked. I can't believe how hard this is to rem remind myself what episode it is. Like last episode. Fucked it up again. But this one is definitely 8. No annotation needed. Right. So, straight off the back of last episode, we are on to a tricky game against... Or tricky, to say the least. Man City. Um, and a cup game versus Chelsea. Yes, uh, yeah, Man City, whatever. Whatevs. They are currently... I've gone blind. Sixth. Okay, they're a point below us. Um, the top four is sort of taking shape, as you'd expect. Um, the only team that's really surprisingly struggling... Um, there isn't really, is there? No, top six as you'd expect. Maybe a different, slightly different order. Uh, Man United are undefeated so far. Boo! But you know, I've got a good chance. Am I playing home or away to Manchetti? Away. <clears throat> We're not going to change the formation. We're going to go four-three-three, attacking two false nines. It could cost us horribly. But I'm stubborn like that and kind of lazy. Daniel Sturridge is on fire. He scored four goals in two games since his return. We've got a good chance. Okay, scouting update. Great. Apparently there's no good players in Australia. There's a shocker. Sorry, Australian viewers. <laughs> I'm looking for the next Harry Kuhl or Mark Viduka. That's all i got. Brad Jones. There you go. Um, Tim Cahill yeah there you go there's four, four Australians right so we're going to have the main men back in Coutinho and Firmino, Firmino to uh, continue their training in that position Jimmy Mills is back in Lucas is playing um M.A. Chan's having a good game apart from shooting too much. I'll keep him in for another game. I'm going to sneeze. Every fucking episode. I swear. <laughs> I always like to do a bit of scat singing. A bit of jazz scat. When I sneeze. You know, mix it up. Keep it fresh. Right. Do, do, do. So, Man City away, Chelsea away, Everton at home. Easy peasy. What if you melded Daniel Sturridge together with Sergio Aguero? You get one player that can play all the games. They probably play about half each, don't they? I think half might be optimistic for Daniel Sturridge. Right, we are playing well. Firmino is actually playing well. He was he was on that goal streak, but Coutinho's yeah, he's done all right, I suppose. Can't complain too much. I was complaining about last episode. The false nines are doing great. <laughs> um, I think we're ready to go. I don't think there's any more changes. We're playing our first team. There's no injuries. Um, let's do it. Let's let's actually just do it. I wonder if they're better suited to playing that way around. Makes no fucking difference. Okay, good. Good to know. Alright, we got this, boys. We've got this. Pick up where you left off. Classic, classic, Mr. Assistant. Okay. Oh, is Sterling playing? I didn't see. Let's, let's boo him. Boo! Go on, Skull. Let Sterling know you where he is. Smash him. Right. I'll, t I'll take a draw from this. I think a draw would be a good result. Obviously. Draw against the top four. You want to draw away. Beat him at home. You can't go wrong with that. Right, Emery Cham with a long ball forward. Sturridge doesn't bother to jump because he might hurt himself. Right. Frodo Baggins on the ball. Plays it across to Henderson. Lovely ball. Looking for Sturridge. It's a poor ball. That. Sterling. Boo! Judas! Judas! No, 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 Three. Good save. And again. 
Good tackle, Emery. And he's taking it away. Go on, Emery. Bit of a hoof. At what point do we tell you to start playing long ball, people? Mr. Head and Shoulders playing a goal for Man City. Oh, that's a good ball through to Aguero. Oh, so much space for Nasri. Somebody help him. Oh, De Bruyne. Aguero. It's coming in, it? it's coming, this goal's... It's, yeah. Keeper. Yes, Mignolet. Okay, it's not a confident start. Oh, fuck me. Passbacks. Fuck bollocks. Fucking passbacks. Why are they so fucking difficult? <sighs> Simple. Sacco. Oh, fucking hell. That's a great tackle from Lucas, to be fair, the first one. Fucking hell. Bloody passbacks. Okay, not the best start. We're getting eaten alive here. We've had a shot. There we go, good. Possession's okay. Sanya. Nasri. Long ball over the top for a grow to chase. Good first touch. Switches the play to Sterling. They've switched sides. Sterling dinks off. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ping just ping pong. <sighs> well done, Simon. Steady on, Man City. Steady on. It's, it's almost like you spent loads of money because you're stupidly rich on the best players in the world or something. It's not allowed. What happened to financial fair play, by the way? That was a thing a couple of years ago. Does that, isn't that not a thing anymore? Not that I'm bitter or anything, but I, 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 sure, I thought that the idea was to stop clubs spending ridiculous amounts of money. Well, I mean, you know. Right, can we have an attack? Maybe? Oh, just a long hopeful throw that's going to go nowhere. Right, Lucas, down the line. Yeah, that's it. Sturridge is going to pick it up and whip one in. He's done well. He's beaten him. Oh, Jesus. We've got this. Win this. Win this. Nice. And again, good head. Sturridge. No, Firmino. They look alike. Or not at all. Okay. Um, how am Man, how Man City winning 93% of tackles? That's three. That's a good. Ah, oh, it's not a good tackle. Oh dear. It's going to be a great error, I imagine, isn't it? There's that big yaya. Yaya. Yaya, yaya, yaya. Mignolet's got him. Watch this. Mignolet's going to make a wonder save. Ooh. Oh, I thought he was going to there. That was close. Okay. 2-0. It's okay. We're playing like lemons, but that's all right. That's all right. All right. He always had it, Ming. Good pen. Good penalty, Mr. Toure. You might be lazy as fuck, but you know how to put away a good penalty. Right. Okay, not the most inspiring first half of football, really, was it? It's not been good enough. I'm not going to go aggressive, but... Uh... I expect to see a much better second half. That's all, you know. That's all I've got to say. The weird thing is, when you're going attacking and you have an attacking formation, when you need goals, it's like, well, how much more attacking can you go? <laughs> oh, that's unlucky. That was a decent ball in. Dandruff saves it well. Okay. 
Come on, let's get one back. Get them on edge. Come on. <clears throat> well, I don't get about the tackles statistic, right? Is Man City have won eighty three percent of tackles, and we've won eighty percent of tackles. Surely that should add up to a hundred. A tackle is a a what? Some one of you wins, doesn't it? So if they won eighty percent, we should win twenty percent. Surely, no? Is that not logic? Right. Um. Right, Mr. Klein. Mr. Ings. Mr. Klassen, you have been chosen to rescue this game. If they ever kick off again. Push forward. Oh, there we go. Nazri spreads the play. Jesus Navas. Aguero, he looks knackered, doesn't he? <clears throat> Come on, Sanya. Real life, he finally decided to cut his head, didn't he? Sanya, get rid of that spaghetti off his head. About bloody time. The Bruin. Kevin De Bruyne. He's one of my favourite players, actually. Gutted he went to Man City. Not that we could afford him at Liverpool, but. Uh... Go on, Klassen. Go on, Klassen. You've got so much space. Okay, that's fine. Firmino. Oh, what a first ball to Ings. Cut inside. Lovely ball. Klassen. Klassen. Oh. That was a great breakaway, though. It's more like it, boys. Aguero is dead on his feet. Surely they've got to sub him soon. What a ball that is, though. As you saw it, says Oos. Oh, you know it's bad when fucking Navas scores against you. I'm not even going to go overload, there's no point, we're not going to win this game. <sighs> Try and keep it to three. <laughs> that's depressing when, you, that's, that is, when that's the decision you have to make. Let's just keep it to three, boys. Okay, they tore us a new one. Fair enough, hold your hands up. It's almost like they spent 150 million in the summer. Okay, that was less than ideal. Don't score another one, come on. Oh, there's so much space. Great tackle. Right, here we go, Dings, beat him. Great ball through to Stuzza on his own. Stuzza, tight angle, get one. Oh, fucking dandruff, double save. Looks good on the stats though. It's definitely not a 3-0 game, but we um, they did deserve to win. Oh, Jesus. Come on, boys. Oh, that's, oh back pass. No, got so much time. We can't fuck that back pass up. <laughs> there we go. Sturridge. Go on, let's nick one. Let's just nick one. A bit of confidence. Glasson. Great ball out to Alberto Moreno. Takes a touch. He's going to whip it in. It's a, uh, is that a corner? Ref! Well, looks like it's going to be it, boys. Well, it's probably like top three most difficult games of the season, but still, 3 0 is not pretty. Don't go and score, Grow. Yeah, it might not be your name. Good save, son. Right, blow up, ref. Just, let's just move on. Let's just move on. <sighs> yeah, disappointing. I'm not going to go too mad. They're motivated and fired up. That's all you can ask. Right, now a nice simple case of Chelsea away now. Good, good. Just gets easier. I'm going to play the young centre-backs. Don't care about the League Cup. 
Hopefully Chelsea will play some of their youngsters as well. So it's a bit of a fair fight. But, uh, all right, Mourinho. What a twat. Yeah, go for it. We've had a bit of a war of words. Um, not only because Mourinho's a twat, but uh, even in game I can't be nice to him. Oh, now I don't want to play my youngsters. I want to try and beat them. <laughs> no, they can have it. Go on, go and play loads more games. I'm bigger than that, man. Oh, you know, it's bad when Jose Mike's playing. Let's go. Oh, my mama. Oh, oh, we've, oh, we've lost a click somewhere. <laughs> oh, we've got my man up front. There you go. Oh, now John Henson. Oh, it's all going horribly wrong here. I've gone blind. I've gone, I've gone player blind. The fuck is going on? Right, Skirtle's injured. A band rather. Right. Up front, we don't want to play Jordan Henderson. Right. My man is now playing centre mid. <laughs> there we go, I found him. He's trying to sneak his way out of it. Oh, that makes sense, doesn't it? So, Emre Chan, right back. Gomez and Mamana, centre backs. Jose Enrique, left back. Lucas is a bit knackered. Jordan Henderson, James Milner, Coutinho, Daniel Sturridge, Firmino. I think that's fair enough. Oh, ben Teke is going to get pissed off, isn't he? Let me... Let me... Compare these two players. All right. Daniel Sturridge is two years older. Because I don't think I can keep both of them. Because I can't keep both of them happy. I like to have a settled squad. But it's all about how often Sturridge is going to get injured. So here we go here. <clears throat> right, Daniel Sturridge is better. He's quicker. Got better vision. He's better finisher. He's better technically. All that Ben Teke's got going for him is he's a little bit more physical. And he's better in the air. Which, although important. I'm selling Ben Teke, I think. Okay, if... Daniel Sturridge can stay fit until the January transfer window. He, he, uh, little injuries, that's fine. But, you know, play most of the games until January. I will sell Christian Benteke to bring in somebody else. We can't keep all these players happy. Because I want to give Danny Ings time as well. He's a perfectly good backup to Sturridge. Right. I think we're ready to go, boys. Bring it on, Reno, you slag. Bring it, son. Oh, do, 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 do. There's just a cheeky little Everton derby next. That'll be in the next episode. So after this one, we'll be doing some of my lead save. That'll be the next video to go up after this. After, all, after that one. God, why, what's, why is 28th of October taking so long to load? <laughs> okay. Come on, computer. Don't expose, please. Not mid-video. That would be embarrassing. Right, let's have a look at ya. I think we're good to go. Do we give Joe Allen some game time? Joe Allen's another one that I'm probably just going to have to sell. What's he like as a defensive midfielder? It's not really, is he? He's quite shorty. Oh, Lucas is good enough. I want to play him. I need a young defensive midfielder, definitely. The other two guys that can play defensive midfielder are not really defensive midfielders at all. It's a lie. There's that Mayer guy, isn't there? Uh, M-E-I-A, the Brazilian, who's really good. I try not to buy Brazilians because it kind of feels like it, the game makes the game too easy. Because <laughs> there's so many good Brazilian youngsters. Like Barbosa kept coming up on my search. I was like, no, I'm not signing Gabriel Barbosa. Everybody signs him and he's. He, I know he becomes world class and I probably should because it's quite cheap for what you can do. But I try to sign non-South Americans. 
Obviously, I've got Firmino and Coutinho up front, but uh, <laughs> that wasn't my choice. Keep the ones I've got, obviously. We've got three Brazilians in my team, but I don't need any more. Uh, Willian with his big hair. Oh, that's a goal. Good, good start. Oh, fucking hell, Falcao, that's unrealistic. That's never happened in the history of time. He doesn't score goals. I thought he was a defender or something. I think he even cut his hair short to see if he could get a bit more pace. No, unrealistic game. Stupid game. I'm going to have a cigarette. Bollocks, that is. Bollocks. If he scores a fucking hat trick against me, I'm just rage quitting. Oh, Marino is going to be a smug little bastard now, isn't he, as well? Ooh. Oh, don't. Oh, fuck right off. Fuck right off. That's ridiculous. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Two minutes in and Falcao scored a brace. No one has ever said that sentence. This is fucking deadly. That's ridiculous. You stress fag. Fuck me. He's going to score a hat-trick, isn't he? He's nailed on to score a hat-trick. Skirtle, just lunge. Get... Skirtle, take... Oh, Skirtle's not playing. Like, Mamana, take the red card. Just just lunge. Get Falcao off the pitch. I'm not having him score a hat-trick against me. Well, great start to the game. Right, Milner. Go on. Oh, it's Enrique. <laughs> I'm really like him in the formation, the position of the wing backs here. They're getting a ton of assists. I think um, Klein's got seven assists in, in 11 to 12 games or something stupid. Don't do it, Falcao. Um, it's just everything else that needs work on. Oh, no. Oh, I'm Ray Chan. Good block, son. It's like the opposite of Chelsea in real life, isn't it? They're playing well and looking confident. I know there's lots of Chelsea fans. Well, there's not lots of Chelsea fans. I know there's a few Chelsea fans out there. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, we all make, we're making fun of Chelsea. But you've got to realise that it's most. It's more fun to take the piss out of Chelsea because you got you don't get to do it very often because obviously they're a good team. So you just have to make the most out of out of uh, the bad season they're having because it doesn't come along very often. So take it as a compliment, or <laughs> great ball across. Firmino. Oh, he's taking too long. Lovely little through ball. Sturridge. Oh, how the fuck has he saved that? How on earth has he saved that? Fuck me. Go on, Sturridge. Go on, Sturridge. Where are you going, Sturridge? Maybe, maybe come this way. Yeah, here we go. Hit one. Oh, that's unlucky. Did that clip the beans on toast then? I've just turned into Paul Merson. Oh, please sub off our cow. But Danny Ings, and we're gonna, uh, it's not been good enough. I am going to be aggressive this time. Show me what you can do. Fire you up, boys. Uh, in Falcao, real life is funny because when Chelsea loaned him this season, I was chatting about it with my nephew, who's a big football fan. And I was like, it feels to me like Mourinho is sort of trying to tell Van Hal that, you know, because he was shit at Man United. It's like, oh no, I'll show you how to play him. He's a good player. You, you're just a rubbish manager. But then it's like, as almost he's realised, go on, back post, got to score that. Get in there, Frodo Baggins. That's for the Shire. Um, what? what was I saying? Yeah, and he loaned him in as if to prove to Van Hal, no, I'll show you how to use him properly. And then it's like he went, oh shit, no, he is, you're right, he is shit. He's massively overrated. He was a good player. I think it was just injuries did him in. 
Oh, Willian's just done him. Not Falcao. No. There he is, boys. Much like a double rainbow, things you'd never thought you'd see, it's a Falcao hat trick. Like unicorn, like unicorns and rocking all shit. Fucking hell. Right, come on, let's get one. Oh, Marino's going to be so smug. Go on. Oh, that might be... Oh, no. No. There's so much space left. No. No. Much like real life, Hazard's got his eyes on Barcelona. Don't care about Chelsea. <laughs> Do anything silly. Great. Good ball. Henderson. Lovely. Milner. Oh, Milner! Alright, oh, they go again. Look, they're flooding forward. There's blood in the water and they're going for it. Oh, that's a great ball over. Oh, good save, Mignolet. Okay, so maybe 4 3 3 attacking is not the way to go against the big teams. I know it's, I've, it takes a genius to work that out. I think it's just mainly because I'm just a bit lazy. In previous versions, like a few years ago, I would have an away tactic and a home tactic and maybe a tactic against big teams. <gasps> Why did no one tell me I'm playing Nathaniel Klein up front as a false nine? How the fuck did that happen? <laughs> I bet everybody's been laughing at this video for the last two minutes going, what the fuck, he hasn't even realised, he's not even realised Nathaniel Klein's playing up top. Right. What? Oh, fucking hell. Right, you're there. No, Emery Chan. <laughs> fucking hell, boys. And Coutinho. <laughs> I'm a tactical genius, me. Yeah, I used to do all sorts of different, but I kind of like trying to find a tactic that kind of just works pretty well all the time. <laughs> like, I'll fiddle with the tactics a lot, but once I'm settled, I, fit, I've, I, I sort of stick to it, really. Fucking hell, what am I doing there? Imagine the commentators. Oh, it's Nathaniel Klein. This must be a change of formation. Nathaniel Klein's coming on for <laughs> Firmino. Oh, no, no. Apparently, Klein's playing up top. Okay. Interesting. Losing me marbles. Right. Oh no, it's going to be a foul cow. Four goals in it. There it is. There it is. Oh no! No! What's going on in the world? We're into like triple rainbow territory now, boys. Foul cow has scored four. Yes, four goals. Unbelievable, Jeff. Did anyone see the Bournemouth game at the weekend? That was amazing. <clears throat> when when Everton like Everton went two 0 up and then Bournemouth got to two all, and then Bournemouth were pushing and then Everton broke in the like ninetieth minute and scored, and loads of fans ran on the pitch to celebrate with, and I was like. That's brilliant. Well, you just wait. And then Bournemouth went up the other end and scored. I thought it was fantastic. Right. Ignore this result. It never happened. It's completely unrealistic. Falcao doesn't score four goals, like, ever. Wait, did he... Wait. Wait. Am I losing the f my fucking marbles? No, he did score four. I thought it was a three on the other screen. Fuck me. Yeah, oh, man, yeah. Uh, I'm the special one. Uh, twat. Right. Kind of as predicted. 
Well, we lost that double header against uh, probably the two best teams in the league. But we were playing kids, we know. That's how, you know, we just don't care. You can have the League Cup. You go for it. Enjoy it. All right, next episode, we'll go straight on to another double header with Everton and Ludogorets, the home leg against Ludogorets. Hopefully that will be a bit better. Thank you very much for joining me. Please like, please subscribe. You've been amazing so far with the support. Um, just been flabbergasted the fact I've almost got 120 subscribers in, in a month, um, less than a month. So thank you very much, guys. You've been amazing. Uh, yeah, we'll do better in the next episode. And I won't play a right back at striker. Promise, promise. I don't promise because it could happen. I love you. Bye-bye.